Hey everyone, and welcome, welcome to part three of this battery saving video series. So what we're going to do in this part is we're going to discuss, discuss actually a number of battery saving tips um, that I've discovered. So first of all, what we're going to do is turn off wireless. I know you might think, well, that sounds kind of stupid, but the first thing people people are usually using when they find that they need to maximize their battery life, maybe they're just listening to music, maybe they're just on an airplane, maybe they're just chilling in their room, just messing around with their computer, I don't know what they're doing. So what they got to do is disable, um, if they don't have their power supply next, next to them or near them, disable, um, or should I say, uh, turn off wireless. So wireless is basically what's constantly searching for, and also Bluetooth, by the way. So wireless, um, if you have a switch on your computer, it's what's basically constantly searching for emails, constantly searching for a signal. If you have Thunderbird, it's obviously always checking, downloading emails constantly. Um, your virus scans are running on the emails that are being um searched into your computer. So um, as these things are being searched at your computer, your computer has to process them and that's using your processor. So turning wireless off will save you a lot of battery life. Um, actually a lot more than you might think. Even more than disabling Windows Arrow and using a bigger battery, really. So uh, disabling wireless is the number one thing that I recommend. And I'll show you how to do that in the software coming up. Don't worry, I always do that. So number two, what we're going to do is cut down the use of external devices. External devices being, say, a mouse or uh, maybe an external drive. Maybe you have a flash drive like this one. Um, maybe you have one of these for your mouse that hooks up to your wireless mouse. I did a review on my mouse. So things like that. If The more of these that you have uh, hooked up to your computer, the more battery you're going to use. Um, so that, that definitely drains your battery. So remove them or shut them down when you're not using them. So if you're just on your lap and you're not actually using your mouse, yes, you can go ahead and unplug that mouse USB. Now, one of my later videos is inevitably going to contradict this because I'm going to end up recommending a laptop cooler for you guys, which is going to run on USB. But um, that's another tip for helping Windows run faster as well as um, helping your computer last longer. So it's not necessarily going to make your battery life better. But I guarantee you that removing um, wireless devices um, and removing USB devices and external hard drives and stuff when you're just moving, when you're just chilling and you have one battery, that's going to help you guys a lot. And I, I'm pretty sure I said three things, so I'm going to say the last thing is to not use, to just remove any disk from your CD drive. So you might have noticed when you open up my computer and you go click on my computer, your hard drive starts spinning a little bit, or your um, your processing light on your laptop comes on, and that might seem a little unusual, but really it's searching for everything that's new that might have been added may have been added to your computer since you last clicked on the my computer button. So really, what you want to do is remove um, just hit that eject button on the side of your computer, or just you know whatever you go into your Windows and eject it, right click on it and eject that disk. All the disks that are in there. Trust me, spinning the disk constantly is going to use a lot of battery, so the less hard drive you use, the less USB devices you use, and the less wireless activity you do is going to, they're all going to add up to increase the battery life of your computer. So I hope this was tutorial. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys. And um, I think I'm just going to do a quick, a quick little software um, edit after this to show you guys exactly how to do a few of the things I just showed you. So um, thanks for watching. This was number three, and uh, enjoy the software. Peace. All right, the first thing I told you guys on my camera was to um, remove all your USB, or actually the second thing, but to remove all your USB devices. Now, what you want to do if you are, uh, if you haven't already known, there will be a little icon down here. Um, well, let me just, hold on, let me just plug one in for you. I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna plug in a USB device in a second, and you're gonna see a little pop-up window saying, you know, you have a USB device plugged in. Exit out. All right, guys, once this is plugged in, and you will expand your system tray right here, and you'll see this little green icon with a check. Turn in on it, but pardon, the, pardon that blinking. So I'll expand this again, and you'll see this little icon with a check. I'm going to right-click on that, and there's only one option that comes up that says safely remove hardware. Go ahead and click that option. A little window will come up, and hopefully it'll come up soon. And here we go. It'll say, I have a USB mass storage device. All you have to do is hit stop, OK, and boom, it's it's safely removable from your computer. So I just put it out right there. So the USB device is gone. That will save you guys some battery. So the second thing that I was going to tell you guys was to um, uh, to turn off wireless. Easy on my computer because there's a wireless switch. But if you have this right here, 
in Windows Vista, there is a, a little network icon in your system tray. Double click on it and hit connect or disconnect, and another window will obviously pop up. Just hit that disconnect button right there. And last but not least, remove any devices from your hard uh, from your disk. So I'm going to go into my computer, and I'll just hit open here. And there are no devices in my USB drive. If there was, I would right click on it and hit the eject button. Of course, it just pops out an empty tray. So that's all I got to show you guys for today. Hope you enjoyed this HD tutorial and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and subscribe. Peace.